Here I am in Podia, and I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to send an email broadcast. This is a newsletter or an email that you're sending to a group of people on your email list or your entire email list. It's totally up to you. So up at the top where it says email, we're going to click that and then hit broadcast and it's gonna bring up a new broadcast and you're gonna be able to see broadcasts and campaigns. Now, this is a brand new account that I created to show you what it looks like when you first get started. So if you're brand new to Podia, this is what it's gonna look like. If you haven't signed up for Podia yet and you're just checking it out, awesome, I love it. I'll have a link for you in the description to sign up for Podia, but it is such an amazing software. So I really hope that you, you sign up with them, they're amazing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit new broadcast. Then Podia has some awesome some tutorials and a tour here for you that you can go ahead and watch as well, or you can watch my videos as well, walking you through it. But first here we see the email section and it says name. Now this is what you're going to see internally for you. So you want to title this something that you can refer back to and know exactly what it is. Or if you want to come up with your own naming structure, you can do that as well. You could number them one through however many emails you do, or if you do different types of emails every week or every month, then you can link at that as well but I'm going to do January 2024 income report now this is for my own personal knowledge of knowing that this is what it is I'm personally gonna be writing an email right now I'm gonna show you live how I do it I'm gonna show you how I do my emails where I share my income reports to my audience and I have YouTube videos and a blog post that I share every single month with them. And then I add some affiliate links, different things like that. So I'm gonna share all of that with you. Next is subject. So subject, I'm going to say, did I hit my January income goals? And I want it to be kind of enticing. And then we can see here, um, I can say income from YouTube courses, digital products. And as you can see, it has a spell check, which is so helpful. Then it's gonna have the from, so your name, and then the email address there as well. And then you can select here who it's for. So you can have it go to everyone, certain subscribers, certain members, customers, depending on what you want to do. So I'm gonna do it to everyone. And then you can use templates. So they have some pre-made templates that are absolutely beautiful and amazing. These are the same templates that are in the campaign section. So if you haven't watched the campaigns video, which is doing more of a workflow, then definitely check that out. So you can do a template or you can start from scratch or you can do previous emails. So I have have done ones where I've done templates in the past where I do a template and then after I do that, then I can just duplicate it. That's a great way to do it, or you can just do blank. So I'm gonna do a blank one. So I'm gonna hit apply, and then here it is. So here is the outline of it. So we have the view and browser, and then we have some dividers, and then these are the requirements that you have at the end. So to add a new section, I'm going to just hit create above, and then here I'm gonna do text. So I'm just gonna click a text box and it's automatically gonna open. Now I like opening all of my emails with just a hi, and then I like doing the first name because I want it to be personalized to them. So hi, first name, and then comma, and then I'm just gonna start typing the email. So I love sharing behind the scenes of I went through and I added the email. Now I want to do this right here and link this. So I'm gonna highlight it and then hit the link and then paste the link, hit done. And it's gonna automatically have it be green, but I can go over here on the right and I'm gonna change this to blue. I personally like my links more of a bright blue color just because that's typically what people are used to seeing. Then what I wanna do is I want to take these and make them bullet points just to make it a little bit easier to read. I like breaking up that text that way. Perfect, so it just breaks up the bullet points a little bit here. Then what I wanna do is I want to link a image. So I'm gonna add an image so that way they can see the thumbnail. So to add that image, I'm just gonna bring it over from my downloads and just drag it right into that little spot right there. And I can also add alt text to it as well. So I can do income report for January 2024, and then I can link it as well. So I'm gonna paste in that URL link from YouTube. So now if they click on this image, then it's gonna bring them right to the YouTube video. I also wanna add a little line to say click here to watch. So that way if they didn't 
see it in the beginning. They didn't know they can click on the image. They can just click on this link. So click here to watch. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to whoop, take this, do the link, and done. And it's automatically going to underline it as well. So that way people can see that it's a hyperlink. Or another thing that I could do is click this plus button and add a button. So to add something from this section, you're just going to click on it. Once it's in that section, you can just click and then I can adjust the button as well. I can, I'm going to actually do the link here before I forget. And then the text of the button. So I'm going to say in all caps, click here to watch. I can center it. I can change the corners of the button. I like it a little bit, a little bit more rounded there. Then I can change the padding here and I can do the vertical padding. I can also change the, the corners and the color. So for the colors, let's do a blue color. I like that. Then here's the other section. So this plus here, this is going to create a, a section above, or if you do the plus down here, you can do that as well. And it's going to create this section below. There's also an option on each of these to do the trash can, to duplicate, to move them up or down. So if I wanted to take this and I wanted to move it up above the image, I could do that. And I can use the arrows to move things up or down, which is super convenient. So this section here, I actually don't need it. So I'm going to just delete it. And then same with this divider, I'm just going to delete it there and delete there. Then I want to below this, I want to add another text box because I have to do my signature. So I'm going to say you, then I can highlight it here and I can change the style. So if I wanted to make this into a H1 header or large text, small text, all of that, I can do that. This will change the headings color. So since this is now a header, it's automatically going to change it to, I could do pink or whatever color I want, but I want to do this kind of tealish color. Now let's see what else we have here. So if we do a little add below, I can also add a gap and that's just going to bring in more space in between and I can have it have corners or not corners. I can do that or have changed the, the padding for how big it is. So that's what gap looks like. Um, divider, that's just a single line there and you can change the thickness, you can change the width, all of that as well as well as if it's center aligned or left or anything like that, you can change the colors as well. So if I wanted to do a green one there, then I could do that and you can change to dotted, dashed or solid line, all the different options there. If I want to, I can add an image like we showed you. I can do a video as well. And so if I wanted to, I could embed the video right here into the email and here it is and it is going to be clickable for them. So that's really an option as well. I personally like to do the image with it linking out, but that is a personal preference if I wanted to add a video as well. And then we can also add socials, which is really fun. So let's center align them. Let's add social and let's do Instagram here. And then you're just going to put the URL of your Instagram. So I'm going to grab the link to Instagram and I'm going to hit that. And then I'm going to add another social and I will do YouTube. And then I'm going to add the YouTube link and I can add my Facebook and then I'm going to do my website as well. So I'm just going to add website and click in here and paste it. So here are the little social links, which is so fun and a great touch to the emails. Then I can also add a file. So if I wanted to add a PDF or an Excel sheet or something like that, I can add that. And by doing that, what you're going to do is the same. You're just going to drag and drop. So say I wanted to add this file for them to download this image, or if I had a freebie. So like for instance, my, let's do that instead. Let's download this one. So we can do my side hustle guide. And then I can say ultimate side hustle guide. Then I can choose to have the icon show or not show, and then also the size as well. I personally like to have the icon showing so they know that it's a PDF download, but don't show the size. That's just me personally, but that's totally up to you. And then you can also change the, the color of the icon. And of course, with everything, you can make it center aligned and you can adjust the padding, all of that. And then I can also add a text box where I can say download below. 
So that way they know that this is a, a downloadable PDF that they can download. So then we can just delete that if we don't want it, or if we wanted to, we could duplicate. So then it's going to show both of them. That is totally an option as well. Then we can also do feature, which is really cool. So feature, you can have a image on the left and then text and a button if you wanted to do that as well. They also have all these other options of where you want the media placement. So the left, top, right. So what I could do is if I wanted to, so let's click on this image, then I'm going to go back here to, and I'm going to upload the image of the thumbnail. I can do that. And then I can say, um, how much I made in June 24. And then I can paste the YouTube video right there. And so here I can do how much. Perfect. And then when they click on the button, it's going to link them to the video. So that's a really cool option as well. And we can change the color of the button. And yeah, that looks awesome. So these are the different options that we have. And if we wanted to, we could move this up a little bit. And so that would be totally a totally different option if I didn't want to do this big image here. Okay, now I want to make sure that everything is working properly, all the links are working properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a test email. And it says test email sent. So now I'm going to pull up my email. Awesome. So here I am in my email and I see test. Did I hit my January goals income from YouTube courses and digital products? So this is the subject. And then this is that preview text that we did at the beginning up here, the preview text. That's what they're going to see when they open their email. So we're going to hit this and now we have the view and browser option. So if I click this, then it's going to open up a new tab, a browser for them. So if they want to read it this way, if it's more of a blog style format, then this may be a great option for them where they want to read it this way versus if it's, you know, on their phone, it may be a little bit harder. So then I can scroll down and I will also want to make sure that all of my links work. I just click this and yes, it brings me right to the video, which is awesome. It's really important to see if all of your links are working, making sure there's no typos, making sure that everything is formatted correctly, all of that. And then let's check this button, click here to watch. Yep. It brings me to the email. Let's check this one brings me to the video perfect. And then let's check these social links. Awesome. And they looks like they are working. Perfect. And then the side hustle guide, let's check this. And here's the side hustle guide, the PDF. Perfect. So that is what it is when you do the test. Perfect. So this is all good to go. Perfect. Now, when we go to send it, it's going to show the recipients for the number of subscribers that we have or everyone. So we can see one subscriber. And like I said, this is the new account that I created. So then we're going to hit send. So we can send now or send later. So let's say send later just to show you. So it'll bring up today's date and you can pick whatever date that you want and then whatever time you want as well. And this is going to be in the time zone that you're in. So I'm personally in East Coast time. So if I want, I can say, let's do tomorrow at 7 a.m. and I can then schedule it. And now it's scheduled. And then after it's scheduled, I'll be able to see the open rate, the click rate, and the sale rate, which is so awesome. And then I can also copy the link, I can preview it, I can duplicate, or I can cancel schedule. So let's cancel schedule. And then it's in a draft right now. So I'm going to go back into it. And now I just want to send so you can see how it is live. So sends now, sending email sent. Now it has zero open rates, anything like that. I'm going to go in and click on some links. So perfect. Okay. So here it is in my inbox. I'm going to click on it. And now I'm going to click on a couple links here just to show you the analytics. So here's the video and let's download this PDF. Perfect. Okay. So let's come back here. Now let's refresh. Okay, perfect. So now that I just clicked on those, so now I can see that it was sent to one person. Open rate is 100%. Click rate is 100%, which is amazing. So we can see here that it has opened and it has a click, which is so cool. So no sales, no bounce, and no unsubscribes, which is awesome. Then as you are going to build your emails, you're going to be able to go through and see 
all the different emails that you sent, they're going to be all listed here. And you can see which ones have higher open rates, which ones have higher click through rates. And say you have an email that has a really good open rate, you may want to click on it and duplicate it and use a similar subject line or similar outline or similar template to that one which is really awesome. So that is how you create an email broadcast in Podia. I also have a tutorial on how to set up email campaigns, how to set up workflows and create a full email funnel if you wanna use it for a sales sequence or if you wanna do it as a welcome sequence as well. So definitely check out that video and also check out my full walkthrough of Podia, the pros, the cons, full review of Podia, definitely check it out.